Support Laneside. Get something cool. Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Laneside Reviews. As always, I'm the bearded beast, Rob Johnson, and today we are looking at the definition of old school meets new school. We are looking at the track cipher. Now, for those of you who bowled way back in the 90s and 2000s, you will remember a very famous line from track being the synergy, solid and pearl. Now, if you look at actually that core, you'll notice that, well, it has a lot of similarities to the cipher that we're seeing here. And in fact, there's a reason for that. What the, uh, the engineers at track have done here is they've actually gone back in time and found the... Uh, the original Synergy core. Now, if you look at it right here, you can see that, well, it's got that, that power core looking kind of nugget in it, and uh, it's a really, really big core. With that kind of size of material in it, we were looking at an RG of 2.607, but a differential of 060. So this thing was a monster. And for anyone who threw it back then, they know how much this ball hooked. Well, as I said, the guys at Track have taken this core and they've modified it. They've uh, taken that power core-like technology and moved it down a little bit, and they've incorporated... Look at that! Dot technology! This means that uh, the core is slightly different, but gives almost the identical performance when it's put in similar situations. Has lowered the RG slightly to make it start up a little bit earlier, and uh, it's tamed down the differential a little bit. 060 is... 060 is a lot. So at 046, it's got still got 4 to 5 inches of flare, but it's a little more controllable. Let's call it that. It's not going to over flare because of the strength of the cover stock. Now let's talk about that. This is an MR8 solid, but just like everything else, add yourself some HK22 to it and it's just going to get better. And that's what they've done. The MR8 solid at 500, 1000, 2000, this thing has a ton of teeth. But that HK22 is going to push it just a little bit farther down lane, make it a little bit cleaner. So it's got just a little bit more energy as the core spins up at the break point. So we're going to see a little bit more motion down lane out of a solid than we're used to. Now let's talk about the layout. We know this ball is going to be strong. We want to use a lot of that cover stock. So we've gone with a pretty standard layout. You can see we've gone with a 4 inch pin to pap. Now this is a symmetrical ball, but we have used the uh, mythical symmetrical mass bias point here drawn through the pin at 6 and 3 quarters inches. And we've placed this six inches from our pap. That's going to allow us to keep the CG of this ball within about a half inch of our finger hole. We like to have it either in the finger hole or pretty close to keep the ball as symmetrical as possible. Lastly, we've gone with a two inch pin over line. That's going to give us a two to one ratio, making this ball fairly smooth, but still having a lot of energy at the break point. But rather than postulating what it's going to do, why don't we take it lane side and See what this thing can do. All right, guys, welcome down to the lanes with our resident two-hander. That's me, joined by Scoops. Woo! And uh, like we said, we're looking at the reincarnation of the Synergy. Yeah. The new track, Cypher Solid. Um, now it's crazy that we've got this ball back, back isn't it? Yeah. I love that they're they're digging out these cores and going yeah. back through them. And, you know, some of us didn't get to throw some of this yeah. technology when, you know, we it first younger. came out yeah. in the 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 Wii nineties. Yeah, we were too busy throwing other stuff. But yeah, I know I had oh, this, I had did, the original Synergy have, Pearl. Yeah, Pearl. Yeah. Um, it was one of the first balls brand new that I bought, um, and I, it was way too much ball for me. <laughs> uh, so I'm glad they brought it back when I can appreciate it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about them changing the core here? Changing that nugget from? I mean, it looks like the power core nugget. Yeah. Um, but it's not that material that we saw in the, the old days. No, no, we we can't have that. Um, what was it? That ceramic, ceramic core. Yeah, yeah. we got to have like a, a mock ceramic. Let's call it mock ceramic. It's super dense. Yeah, it's Just denser like material, but it's not <laughs> as dense as the as the ceramic was. But so we're seeing here. Unfortunately, we didn't have the pin cam. Uh, one of our cameras went down. Uh, but we wanted you to watch. So far, I've thrown a couple of balls that. Uh, they hooked. hooked. Yeah. Hooked. Yeah. That uh, that MR8 
cover stock, you were saying um, off the air yeah. um, that that surface preparation on it is yeah. like money. Oh, yeah. That, that's one of the, the best combinations that got going. There's some of the great balls. That we've seen lately? Yeah, lately it, in all the lines from the, the seven brands have come out with that's one of the go-to money. Now, you can balls. see here I've made a move to get that ball out a little bit farther. And oh, there you go. Good Lord. High RG <laughs> yeah. plus medium high differential plus a slow two-hander like me. This ball is so good. Yeah. Um, I know that you, uh, a lot of people won't watch this because I'm two-handed and not specifically rev dominant like I used yeah, to be. Sweet. But if any rev dominant player, this is the kind of ball you need. It's yeah. a ball that doesn't rev up. You can't rev it up earlier. I was going to say, you you still have a lot of revs. Yeah. I mean, and your speed is slower than it used to be, but that still means that you're rev dominant. That's correct. Cause so. my, I mean, uh, when I went to Brunswick, we, yeah. we use Specto. My rev rate goes 450 plus, Yeah, but my speed is like 14 mile an yeah. hour below. Yeah. Well, but it's getting it, higher. It's coming up, yeah. I'm around 14, 14 and a half yeah. now. Um, so for people like me, two-handers or rev-dominant players, when yeah. you need a ball to get down lane, higher RG does not see the fronts as early. Yeah. And then with the HK that... Now, if you throw it bad... Yeah. <laughs> but the HK makes everything so clean. It doesn't matter how strong the cover is. Yep. It's, it's, it's so misleading. It's just weird stuff. Like I, I don't have enough chemical background to understand <laughs> why it does. But even a very strong cover will still get down two or three feet more than it should. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's it's just this HK twenty two base. It's like yeah. nothing else that's out there. Yeah. Uh, now I'm gonna make another move here just to try to keep keep that ball out there, and okay, I'm gonna try okay. to throw it better. I'll be honest. Yeah. The last shot you could see it was not very good. On well, the other thing. I, I I'm there not part of that top 1% of bowlers. <laughs> bowlers that hit the same area. So layout's important to me, and yeah. I just try to repeat my shot and let the layout do the work. Um. <clears throat> uh, but anyway. What I was going to say was <laughs> I find with a lot of the HK balls that I play, uh -huh. I don't have to move as much. Yes. They don't seem to uh, be affected as much as the lanes break down and the heads yes like a lot of other stuff well we are right. in a high friction center we yes. talk about that yeah. a lot and the heads in our center see a lot of play yeah. so hk has made a really big difference in a lot of people's games yeah. because they actually get the ball to have energy down lane yeah I look at this one. Oh, you didn't even get that out no <laughs> All I didn't oil. have to. I just All keep oil. that was from fifty. <laughs> yeah, I was standing fifty, sliding into the gutter. Yeah, like this ball has traction, and yeah. because of that higher RG cover, I can put as much surface on that thing, and it's going to get down farther before yeah. it starts to spin up and come off the spot. Yeah. And this great ball for uh, uh, you can see we got signs up there during Big Brothers. Oh, God. where we don't have. We got a lot more carry down yep. because of the we have, we, and We have yeah. a yearly tournament that comes for Big Brothers and Big Sisters, sisters yeah. the bowl and yeah. we unfortunately, um, not unfortunately, but we see a lot of carry down because yeah. we have things going on right before league. Yeah, and they, they have to oil them really quick, so. Look at this. Wow, that still came off it's the spot. Well, I'm, I didn't throw it very good, I'll be honest. Yeah. Um, maybe I should have Maybe I should have worried less about a layout. <laughs> They uh, <laughs> <laughs> the other time is March break at our center. It's the same thing because there's busy, busy, busy right up till the end. So there's a few times a year that something like this would definitely. Oh yeah, for a house league. Other than that, like any sports shots, heavy oil, big tournaments you're going to. This is. I like the idea of being able to go onto a sports shot uh, that's very flat. Yeah. And um, have a ball that is going to have a little bit more energy down lane so that when they blend out, yeah, um, I, I'm i still going to be able to get to hook. Well, yeah, like you're not this. worried about it, yeah. That's what I mean. You, you're moving a little bit right and then kind of coming left where everybody else is either jumping left yep. or having to jump way right. Depends. I, I like the idea of having equipment where the RG keeps the ball in line so I can use more surface to get it to pick up. Oh, yeah. People for uh, often, and here I am left-handed, um, 
when they get into a lower RG ball, they when they pile on the surface, yeah. it rolls forward because it rolls it runs out of runs energy. energy. Yeah, higher RG, more energy down there, less roll forward, mm-hmm. more through the pins. Yeah. Here I am with my rattler. Um, as we say all the time, we always use a ball that has similar dynamics. Yeah. Every company has one. That was pretty. So good. That almost looked like I threw it hard. <laughs> Must have been somebody else. I Here think we you are just with have a confidence cipher. in that one. You just know that it's going to do what it's going to do. Yeah, exactly. I right. know it's going to. It's always going to be there. Yeah. I have confidence in this ball that it's oh, going to be there the same I way. Think, I think that was the two board. <laughs> <laughs> I, I missed out the last time. I have confidence when I throw this ball yeah. that it's not going to miss it down lane. Yeah. But it's also not going to roll as soon as it hits the, the lane. Well, and that's we've talked lane, about lane, this. Lane, yeah, lane, lane, lane. Say it a million times. Um, we've talked to us in the past that when you do get your speed up because you're you're gaining more speed, you can see it. This one, slow watch motion. it go wide there. Yeah. That this ball, even though it's high RG and gets down the lane, yep, because it's retaining that energy, you, it's harder to throw through the break point. Uh, yes, right, because of the surface and, and the combination. So it's you know. Here we are, lane level. Once again, we've got the rattler. You, you'll be able to see uh, the way that it reads. One of the things I like about this ball is the logos. Yeah. When I throw the rattler, I can see the logos change position, almost like there's tape. Um, on it when we used to do the, like the mi- access migration. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, so I I always it's very easy ball for me to read. Watch, I love balls like that. Yeah, watch the cipher. Oh, it actually started up earlier. If you yes. if you watch, it spun up faster, but didn't jump. Didn't jump. No, it, it, it just pushed kinda, down another few feet yeah. before it rolled. Watch it on the slow motion here. I did it super slow motion so that you guys could actually see really this. Really see it. Because um, usually I go to 75%. Yeah. So I went super <laughs> slow. Um, just so we could appreciate. Now watch right here. It spun up and then... Still went down like another still, foot or two. Yeah. That's awesome. So it was yeah. about three... Even though it spun up three or four feet earlier, it didn't actually hook until about the same place as the Rattler. Yeah. That is crazy. If you need a big ball as a two-hander, I cannot recommend this one enough. How about you? It looks good. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a show. So until next time, guys, we'll see you lane side.